January the 7th, 2019. Um, surprisingly not sore today, which I thought I would be, uh, especially in the hip flexor that I strained on Friday, but I can still feel it a little bit, but it doesn't impact my ability to uh, chop underhands and standings. Um, so I'm gonna continue uh, with that today. Um, I gotta do some lawyer stuff this afternoon, uh, and then I'm going to be uh, heading over to Mark Muscle Holler South to train with Josh Wilson, who is, I think, technically Josh would be my second youngest lumberjack son. I have uh, a series of lumberjack sons that I've sort of adopted over the years. Zach Browse is the oldest, and then Scooter Coger is the second oldest, and then Josh, and then um, Gerald Yules, so to speak. But um, in any event, um, been thinking an awful lot about the diet plan that I have implemented over the course of the past, good Lord, one on five months now. Um, I'm down a total of um, 35 pounds, and I got another 10 to 15 to go in order to get to 250. I've let myself get really large uh, over the course of the past 10 years. And so um, what I've done is I've taken to training fasted. In other words, I uh, stop eating at about 6.30 to 7 p.m. every night. And then I don't eat again until I have a protein shake after I have weight trained in the mornings um, before I go to work. Um, then I'll have a second protein shake when I get to work. Uh, and then I'll eat solid food at around 11.30 to 12. And then I'll have a normal dinner um, and then resume the whole process again. Uh, and it, it's working for me. And I've learned that it doesn't matter how you diet. Uh, it's not a diet. It's a life change. You want to make sure that how whatever change you make in your eating is regimented and it's sustainable. And for me, this type of eating is sustainable. I'm not depriving myself of anything. I'm not dieting per se. I am simply eating what I enjoy uh, and uh, thinking of uh, food is nothing more than fuel. And it's working. Um, I'm gonna keep it up. This is a life change thing for me. Um, probably the only time I wanna go off of it's when I go to Sydney and in April because I, I won't be able to get all the protein shakes and blend it, blah, 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 blah. But we'll see what happens. Uh, but today, we're going to cut some one hand standings with Josh and see what happens. I do not know if I'm going to do any threshold pushers or not because uh, that shit kicked my ass yesterday. We First shall log see. of the day. Eh, it's about a foot sugar, Mabel. This will be fun. Just to get warmed up. Hit less 12 inch white oak. This will be fun. I'm gonna try and cut all of it, but uh, we'll see what happens.
Threshold pusher, 16 inch tool of poplar, training axe. Fun, 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 fun. Wide oak, baby. Need to bend down more for your up hits. What's that? Bend over more for your up hits. about an 11 inch red maple yeah I got no clue last one I cut in 14 and 11 so less than that would be awesome Seventeen inch tulip poplar underhand. I'm gonna go till I can't go no more. This is uh, gonna hurt. I got a knot in it, so I'm putting a big front and a small back in it. So I'm gonna be in the front for a while. Uh, embrace the suck. <laughs> 